we're here with Hyland Wong of Telus. He's the director of product marketing. He's going to show us some new devices that Telus is going to launch for the upcoming holiday season. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you, Ian. Let's see what you have uh, coming up here. Sure thing. We're pretty excited about the Q4 or the holiday lineup uh, that we have coming up at Telus. A lot of world-class devices that are going to be launching soon on our uh, world-class uh, network. Um, and a lot of them are actually exclusive to TELUS as well. Um, so don't know if you had a particular order in which you wanted to start? No, let's just hit hit them all. Let's see what you got. I, I can see sure. the hero there. Sure. So um, the first device, which has already been getting a lot of uh, buzz in the mainstream media, has been uh, the HTC Hero. So. Once again, this is coming exclusively to Telos in two colors, actually, for the holiday season, uh, white and black. And uh, I think HTC has told the story uh, best when, when they said that uh, you don't really need to get a device. You need a device to get you. You need a phone to get yeah. you. And I think that's um, really um, the story of the HTC Hero. It, it's not a, a device that... Um, is, is that we want to talk about all the features or the functionality. It's really a device that it lets you personalize the device for your own needs mm. and for your own style as well. So the interesting thing is here you have seven touchscreen panels that you can easily navigate through, which allow the user to personalize the device to their heart's content. And the really interesting thing is that um, uh, every user that you give this device to almost guarantee that if you put all their devices down on the table, each user would end up having a different, different. Uh, a different uh, uh, configuration. Nice. So really what we see devices like this HTC Hero becoming are with their fantastic touch screens, they're becoming the refrigerators that you used to have at home, where you used to put your photos and your calendar oh, yeah. and, and your little recipes and your reminders. You can see very, very easily that the desktop here is very dynamic and allows you to configure things and to put things um, to, to your preferences. And looks incredibly responsive. Very responsive, very uh, crisp and fast. Um, as you probably know, this runs on the uh, Google's Android operating system, which has been built from the ground up to support a fantastic mobile internet experience. HTC has done a fantastic job enhancing that experience even further with a lot of their own uh, widgets or mm -hmm. little applications that you see here. Right. And they've made it fantastically easy to configure the device. So it's as simple as just pressing and holding and you can actually uh, configure the device and, mm. and just add or remove a widget um, uh, as you as you please. I'll just put the, the clock back. Lots of customization options also there. Also different clocks that you can have in it, different areas. And exactly. Have, have the weather out there. So. Exactly. Mm. And, and you notice also just little things that HTC has paid attention to where even with uh, something like a, a widget which is becoming pretty mainstream or accepted these days, they've done different things such as combining the clock with the weather right. um, to, to really give you a, a quick view of things without even having to touch the device. What's the screen size? The screen size on this I believe is actually a 3.2 inch uh, screen, so um, you know, very crisp, very responsive, um, fantastic for playing videos uh, and for music as well. Nice. So that's one of the key things about this device in terms of making it yours personalize the device. The yeah. second thing that HTC has really done is they've thought a lot about the UI to really ensure that you can stay connected with your friends and family uh, quite easily. So as an example here, I've got all my favorite people here, or people that I'm close to at work, and um, I've got all their photos. And in fact, um, one of the interesting things that you'll see on the HTC Hero is there is no built-in Facebook application because Facebook is actually built in uh, as an integrated part of um, the, the actual device experience. So, as an example, this this picture here is actually being pulled down directly from Facebook. Really? So, when the gentleman uh, is updating their Facebook profile, um, the photo gets well. updated automatically. That's amazing. And I can quite easily link to Facebook. It's just a matter of signing in. And once I sign in, I can actually get uh, events streamed uh, on a on a per contact basis, not on a per application basis, because that's how people work. They right. work based on the people around them, not on the applications around them. So a uh, very, very intuitive interface, and it just doesn't extend to the, the contacts. It's also little things like the photo albums, where you can associate the person with uh, Facebook or Flickr, 
and, and really have a dynamic integrated experience that revolves around the people in your life, uh, yeah. not around the applications. So um, HTC has clearly thought a lot around uh, the applications and a, a lot around the user interface and I think they've uh, delivered a fantastic experience. Um, little things as well in terms of surprises with, with the device um, that HTC has really put into it. They've got something that they've put in called a scenes mode where HTC appreciates that uh, people's lives are becoming increasingly blurred. Their work life and their personal life, school, uh, they're all blending into one. So what HTC has done is they've integrated something called scenes mode where you can quite easily actually configure a whole bunch of different modes and configure the desktops to suit those modes. Hmm. So maybe in my TELUS work mode, I've got my corporate email set up as one of the widgets. Oh, interesting. But, uh, after 5 p.m. on Friday, I'm out of the office, it's time for me to go to social mode. Does it do that automatically, or do you have to do it? You have to do it, so uh, it's just a matter of a, a quick configuration. So that's similar to what the E71 was, is with the two different home screens. Yeah, exactly, and we'll okay, get to that in a second as well. Yep. So you see that uh, HTC is, um, has really thought through their their user interface and quite quickly you move to social mode where I can configure the device and... And are those seven different home screens once you click? Uh, yes. Wow. So every configuration that you have would have seven different home screens and um, and, and, and in a social mode um, here's a good example where I might have Twitter instead of my corporate email that's as, great. as the widget that I use. I, th I think that's amazing. Yeah. So um, very quick overview of the HTC Hero um, probably I'm not doing it justice. We could probably spend uh, a lot more time yeah. on it. Let's, let's we'll see the dimensions of it. Like, it looks pretty thin. Yes, um, it is a pretty oh, thin device. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll, I think you're getting a spec sheet uh, afterwards, so AG will be able to follow up with you on this, the, the exact specifications. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, very, uh, very nice device, exclusive to Telus um, uh, in in Canada, and in fact, I think in North America. Uh, we're the only ones who've uh, come out with the European uh, centric flavor yeah. of the HTC Hero, nice. which is um, which is different. You know, a lot of touch screens are starting to look the same, right. uh, but uh, uh, this is definitely a different kind of design. That's also very functional in terms of uh, the the chin here is very ergonomic mm -hmm. when you put it up to your face in terms mm -hmm. of bringing the speaker closer to your right. to your mouth. Uh, right. So uh, a lot of a lot of detailed thought has been put into the design. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Beautiful. What, what's the camera on it before we order that? This is a 5 megapixel uh, camera. And um, I guess somebody else is calling me uh, right now. But um, just with the, fa with the camera, the fantastic integration of the camera with um, uh, some of the great functionality that Google has incorporated in, in terms of their... Um, in terms of their operating system. So here's an application that HTC has developed called Footprints, where uh, if I am on a date with my wife, as an example, I can take a picture of the Eiffel Tower, and I can actually uh, then uh, record uh, a memo of uh, uh, where I was, what I was doing in front of the Eiffel Tower, and because this is so integrated with uh, the Google uh, services, you actually have Google Maps integrated into uh, the application so that you can pinpoint exactly where you took the photo, uh, not just on Google Maps, but down to the exact latitude, longitude, and where the information is available, the, 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 the place address. So That's great. it's a very personal view that yeah. allows you to, to then rate the, uh, uh, that site or that place that you visited. And, and allow you to essentially keep a digital scrapbook of your life. Right. Um, All as, on, as you on your mobile device. Exactly. It's fantastic. Yeah. Great. The hero looks amazing. Yeah. What's next? So the next device that we have is the, uh, the BlackBerry Bold 9700 smartphone. So uh, just when you think that BlackBerry has uh, reached the limits of what they can do with the phone, they continue to outdo themselves. So BlackBerry is clearly listening to their clients in terms of taking a, a very proven uh, device and form factor with the BlackBerry Bold and enhancing it even uh, to the next level. So uh, first and foremost you can tell right away with the design that uh, they've been able to do what I consider in some ways the impossible of, of taking a full QWERTY device 
and putting it into one of the sleekest, slimmest uh, packages um, that you have on the market, not just in terms of a BlackBerry smartphone, but just in terms of smartphones in general. So um, BlackBerry, when you talk to them, they've done a huge amount of uh, focus group research with uh, you know, users, everyday users, and I think they've found a very good balance of being able to provide a sleek and slim design while providing a full QWERTY uh, keypad. So that's the first thing that, that really uh, strikes the user. Other things um, uh, are things that the user can see are, are obvious in terms of the fantastic um, high resolution uh, touch screen, or not touch screen, but the high, high resolution screen. That's uh, coming next. It's coming <laughs> next, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, that uh, clearly will, will provide some fantastic uh, vivid images, uh, both if you're recording video uh, or, or images, uh, or if you're watching content on your on your device as well. So I think BlackBerry has some uh, videos here. Uh, we'll have to preload and maybe show some for you later. Um, but you'll also notice that another uh, little thing that they've done is they've uh, integrated a, a new touchpad yeah. here. And uh, this is a very, very responsive input mechanism. Uh, BlackBerry uh, continues to take their design to the next level. Uh, the trackpad was a fantastic uh, 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 user uh, engagement mechanism, but um, uh, BlackBerry's found a way to improve upon it uh, with this new touchpad, uh, which makes the experience even better and, uh, and is very, very responsive. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to just what you see here in terms of the physical design aspects, uh, BlackBerry has also spent a lot of time thinking about the user experience and the fact that the, the core BlackBerry base expects to be able to, to use the device and not worry about having to deal with battery issues or charging right. it um, after a full day's day of use. And BlackBerry spent a lot of time not just in terms of boosting the, the battery size, but also in terms of um, enhancing the, the software and how it works in terms of optimizing uh, the, the software for optimal uh, ba mm -hmm. battery uh, uh, utilization. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a full days of battery, battery uh, usage if not more, uh, with this device, uh, and uh, also they've enhanced the memory as well, mm -hmm. because as you know, uh, BlackBerry has rolled out their BlackBerry App World uh, this year, and there's more and more apps being uh, developed for it uh, each and every day, and so they're conscious of that, and BlackBerry has increased the memory size on, on the, uh, the Bold 9700 smartphone to ensure that clients always have a crisp, fast experience and they will never get bogged down if they're having uh, multiple applications that they're using. Right. So, um, everything you love about BlackBerry and more in a sleeker and slimmer uh, design. And also important to note that this device, along with the HTC Hero, uh, feature Wi-Fi uh, as oh, well. Great. So, um, an added bonus for our clients. So this device looks like the Tour, but uh, similar to the Bold 9000. Yes, uh, similar designs. Yeah. Um, this is just taking that design to the next level. Yep. Cool. Other aspects of it? Looks like the keys are the same as the Tour. Yep. What's, what's the camera? This is a 3.2 megapixel camera. Um, but awesome. uh, BlackBerry has always had a reputation of having fantastic uh, camera quality. Yep. And uh, you know, people who are really keen on the cameras will know that it's not always about the, the megapixel. It's also about the quality of the camera image. And, right. uh, and BlackBerry has always had a fantastic reputation there. Now, is TELUS going to give uh, a 2 gig card with this when they launch? Is that uh, something that... I That's okay. the detail. We'll, we'll double check mm -hmm. for you. Okay. Cool. Great. Looks nice. It'll, it'll do well. <laughs> so the next device I uh, just want to show you chocolate. is the LG New Chocolate. So uh, this device is actually exclusive to TELUS in North America. So. Uh, we're quite excited to partner with LG to bring this to Canadian shores uh, from from Europe, where the response from the uh, not only the mobile phone but also the broader fashion community uh, in Europe has been overwhelmingly positive. And, and first and foremost, uh, this is a this is a phone whose design strikes uh, uh, a different uh, kind of beat. Uh, it's, it's a phone that stands out from uh, the crowd of smartphones that are touchscreen that's uh, emerging uh, in the mobile phone space. And um, beyond just being a very striking, slim design with uh, premium materials and finish, um, the, the, 
the style of the device is also very, very functional. So what you have here is a 4.12 inch uh, uh, touchscreen, uh, very, very high resolution, which hopefully your, your camera is, is picking up. But um, the device is, is very, um, uh, very functional in terms of um, with the 4.12 inch touchscreen, you're able to browse and view websites in full landscape mode without having to pan back and forth. Uh, it's got the uh, the pinch and zoom and the double pat, double tap if you do want to uh, zoom in or browse to a, a specific portion of the website mm -hmm. a little bit deeper. It also provides for a fantastic multimedia viewing experience which hopefully I can demonstrate to you oh. um, in, in a few minutes. Uh, uh, LG has spent a lot of time working on their, their UI around this device. They've got a UI that they call the S-Class uh, UI and the UI is based on a very simple cube concept uh, which a lot of consumers will find very easy to, and intuitive to, to pick up. So um, right away uh, with the first panel in the cube you have uh, a number of uh, widgets that LG has provided uh, which allow you once again to, to customize the device and, th and that's, a, that's a, a notion that you're seeing across a lot of the devices that I'm talking to you about today that it's a device for you it's a, it's a device that allows you to customize it to your own needs and to your own preferences, and um, and, uh, and and clients can really make it their own device. Uh, in addition to just the home screen here, LG has also taken things that are fairly innocuous, like contacts, to the next level in terms of having very rich, dynamic contacts, which are almost like a virtual Rolodex of uh, of people. Um, so they've they've taken something that's fairly bland and uh, and you, th you would think doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, innovation really is to it, the next level. Is it easy to find your contacts? Like let's say I want someone at the tail end of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. how, how would you do that? There's a couple of options. One is uh, it's pretty easy to, to just scroll through the contacts. The other is you can actually just go to the contacts uh, themselves and then um, quite easily just, uh, just uh, scroll, scroll up and down. down and you can accelerate your scrolling. Now, does that have a QWERTY as well? This does have a QWERTY as well. So uh, one of the interesting things about this device is it's actually a very, very functional um, uh, messaging device as well. So um, as an example, myself, I have my, my corporate email uh, set up uh, with the Microsoft Exchange email uh, set up on this device. and. Um, I'll just, uh, just do a double yeah, check yeah. here. So with the device, uh, corporate email, you know, the S-Class UI lends itself along with the, the larger screen to a lot of things that you can do uh, with, uh, with the, uh, the, the, dual, the dual screen. So uh, right, right here, uh, LG has made, made the screen very functional so that you have a frame for your, your headers and then a frame for your subject uh, line afterwards as well. So cool. very, very good. Um, uh, email experience as well with a full QWERTY keypad. Nice. Um, the multimedia experience is probably something that we we absolutely should focus on here. Right. So uh, one of the things that LG has done, hopefully we can uh, load it up for you. Is, uh, here's a, a trailer for the movie Avatar. So a great, great example of how uh, this it's device like entire screen. just makes for the ideal multimedia uh, viewing experience. That's uh, amazing. So um, clients will, will really enjoy uh, watching their multimedia and listening to the music on the yeah. device. What's the sound like? Uh, the sound is actually uh, quite, quite good. And uh, if you actually uh, go into music as an example, I'll just uh, pause this for a second Ian. But if you actually go into to music, um, LG has actually incorporated Dolby uh, sound processing into the experience of the phone. So it seems like these phones are just getting more powerful. Yeah, just uh, uh, you can see right, right away. So another thing they've done is they've made the music experience very <laughs> enjoyable. It's like a turntable. Exactly. So I'll just put it back here. But you can see uh, there's Dolby mobile sound. You can turn on and off, and uh, yeah. once you put on a pair of headphones or attach it to a, a speaker, you'll you'll uh, 
quite easily be able to tell the enhancement with the sound performance. Three and a half millimeter headset jack? Three and a half mil headset jack. And uh, um, I think the device speaks for itself. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. All right, so let's rock through these other ones, sir. You didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> Nokia E71. So, um, you know, Nokia is the number one smartphone maker uh, in the world. Yep. And uh, Telus is very happy to, to partner with Nokia to bring their number one selling messaging smartphone to the Telus uh, portfolio um, in, in the holiday season. So, you know, first and foremost, this phone is a fantastic uh, functional uh, uh, device. Just excuse me for a sec. So nice and sleek, um, but it also provides for fantastic productivity in terms of access to your corporate exchange email as well as any POP3 email right. that you might want to experience. You mentioned a point earlier with respect to the personalization and the flexibility to adjust between work and personal modes, um, and uh, you're exactly right with the Nokia 71 This is a device where uh, when you leave work on Friday, you can quickly change it into uh, personal mode uh, with different configurations and make it into a completely different device. Cool. So um, once again I think the device speaks for itself in terms of very slim sleek device uh, for a client looking for a messaging device um, uh, without wanting to compromise on wanting to put it in their pocket um, and, and not feel like it's a, a huge weight there. Yeah, like and a brick. Exactly. And Telus is coming out with uh, two exclusive colors to Telus in the holiday season. The black and we'll have a, a white with a red accents um, as well. Beautiful. Very, very festive. 